The band San Barador reached out to us about a month ago to see if we'd be down to make a music video for their new single. We've been wanting to cut our teeth on a music video for some time now, and we love the song, so we are on board. We came up with seven different concepts to see what might work with their vision and budget. They are really into one particular idea, so we built a treatment based off of it. Since the song is both a fun and dancey and a sad and nostalgic vibe, we wanted to mirror that in our video. The chorus of the song poses the question, will you still love me when the summer ends? So we made that the premise of our story. Our idea was this. The video will take one character through many scenes of her summer, showing all the people who filter in and out of it. The opening scene will show the character wondering if those people would be there when the summer ends, and the closing scene would reveal the answer to that question. Since the band didn't want a cliche love story video, they were on board with this idea. So it's time to send a treatment to them and their label for approval. If you're not familiar with treatments, they serve a few purposes. One, it lays out the idea in more detail and with visual references, which act as a mood board. This allows the band and label to see our vision in ways that mere words may not be able to convey very easily. Two, it gives the label confidence in us to sign up on the budget. And three, it helps the crew involved, especially the stylists, know what we envision so they can better do their jobs. A label approved the treatment and sent over the legal paperwork, which basically outlined what we were responsible for delivering, who owns what, the budget, and a bunch of other stuff we totally skimmed through. The label was willing to cover $3,000 and the band was willing to cover an additional $2,000. This may sound like a lot, but in the world of music video productions, it's on the low end. And given our rather ambitious concept and our desire to make something we'd be proud of, we had to get creative. Right off the bat, we knew that there wasn't enough room in the budget for us to get paid. Normally, we wouldn't be able to take on unpaid work, but we valued the experience, the connections we'd make, and know that this has stepping stone potential. Speaking of which... Rachel, I'm so happy to be standing here with you today, surrounded by all of our friends. Daniel, we've been together for eight years, through seven different apartments and four different websites all of which were hosted by Squarespace's easy-to-use, all-in-one platform. You're so beautiful, inside and out, just like Squarespace's designer templates. You've always been there for me, day and night, just like Squarespace's award-winning 24-7 customer support. I'm so glad I made my next move with Squarespace, and you. I love you both so much. Full disclosure, here's how our budget broke down. TMI, too much information. Now for crew. We knew we wanted our friend Will Yang to help us out as an AC to help us set up our cameras, switch out lenses, and keep things running smoothly. With him booked, we then needed a hair and makeup artist, a stylist, extras, and a production assistant. The band offered to help us find extras, had a stylist already on board, and found our hair and makeup artist through referrals. An old coworker of mine, PAs and ADs for a living, so we hired him to help us out. If you don't have connections, try local Facebook groups, Craigslist, or social media to help you find your crew. Since we needed a house and a pool, we immediately thought of this house where we shot our photo shoot series. What's great about this location is it's so beautifully decorated that it required minimal props and set decoration on our end, which is great considering our limited amount of time and resources. It also has beautiful natural light, which means we got by without hiring a gaffer to help us light everything. There's also a pool out back, so we booked the house and then moved on to our other location, the desert. Today's Wednesday. We are location scouting. We're looking for a place for our shoot on Sunday, which takes place outside in the desert. Now I'll drop a pin. With our locations locked down, we then moved on to the next step. The hardest part of pre-production for us was creating our shot breakdown. This is where we listened through the song over and over and wrote out what shot would take place at which part of the song. This required us to visualize what shots would work best during certain parts of the song and what shots were needed to better tell the story of the video. This is where we also established our transitional elements such as match cuts, which we utilized to seamlessly take us from location to location. Once the band got to town, we went over our breakdown shot by shot with them to make sure they were cool with it. Once we completed this, we then moved on to the next step. For the shot list, we first broke it down by location. We had the car, the house, and the pool. We then took each shot from our breakdown and added what camera, lens, and stabilization we wanted to use for each. 
We also had a column for cast, so we knew which actors were required for which scenes. After we had all this complete, we made another sheet putting each shot into shoot order so we could make the most efficient use of our time on location. With pre-production complete, it's time for the shoot. Next time on the music video series. Couple chords. Action.